you know, we, we beat a good team tonight. Uh, beat a team that's got a chance to win the SWAC and be an NCAA tournament team. Um, we didn't have John I. Um, he banged knees in the game uh, against Winthrop, tightened up on him that evening, and hasn't been able to practice. Uh, he'll be fine for Cancun. I think he'll be fine for Cancun. We'll see. Um, um, as a result, um, we had a, we had a lot of changes. So Jalen Williams played a little five, hadn't played D five all year. Stretch got a couple of regular rotations. Um, Dylan, Dylan played a little bit more uh, because Jalen had played some five. We got a chance to rotate Chris Moore at a little bit of four. Played very well. Uh, chance Restry played point and three. Um, I think obviously from a scouting standpoint, um, Wendell had been playing so well in our first three games that Johnny just wasn't going to let Wendell beat us. And so they they doubled him a lot in those ball screens and it bothered him. And um, But that's what your teammates are for. And, um, and I thought that uh, we had a bunch of guys respond. Um, and uh, obviously Chris Moore uh, played really well and you know, he is a team favorite, fan favorite, just just because he's a great kid and works so hard and been so unselfish, kind of waiting his turn. It's good to see him play with confidence. Question? Great Sorry. balance, too. I just think that was, you know, something that was obviously evident. And I just think we, you know, we did what we needed to do in this full game homestand. Um, I do think we've gotten better. I do think we've learned. Um, and um, we'll go from there. Bye. Um, Bruce, um, Chris mentioned, Chris and Jalen mentioned about their bigs being physical and aggressive. How how much did it hurt to not have Janai out there considering what their bigs are able to do? Well, I don't, I don't, I mean, you know, obviously when you don't have your starting center, um, it could hurt some. Um, they had, you know, they had, you know, 16 second chance points. Um, but him, you know, him not being out there didn't, Allow us to turn the ball over 20 times. We, we were sloppy with the ball, and that was an issue, um, you know, for us. And um, particularly, you know, that was a problem. You know, that was a problem. Ryan yes, Bruce. Especially in the first half, did that have a little bit of a feel of an SEC game with their physicality, the way they play defense, their length? I mean, I thought they were. They were look, those, those were older players, well coached players, got in the gaps, stripped and ripped us. You know. And uh, you know we weren't strong on the ball, and uh, we didn't we didn't execute very well. We did a much better job in the second half. The offense is, is in front of me. I thought our spacing, our timing, and and perhaps you know obviously a little bit of fatigue from Texas Southern playing there. You know, having played Wednesday night, we played Tuesday night. Bruce, with uh, Janai out, how big was it for Jalen to come up with that game? He had 14 points and led y'all. Rebounds, assists, steals. Yep, I thought Jalen played well. I didn't think his first rotation was good, um, you know, and that's same thing with Dylan. I, they both needed to play better earlier when you're starting centers out. Um, it just took us a little bit while for those guys to get going, um, you know. But the sum of our parts, that's that's our greatest strength. Mark Murphy. Uh, Bruce, in the second half, you have a really small lineup out, out there, but you're quick and athletic, and you got a lot of fast break points. Talk about that. Well, the key to that was the rebound. The key to that was the fact that Jalen or Chris or whoever it was, Al, uh, you know, got on the boards, and and you know, even you know, Wendell had four defensive rebounds. Al had four defensive rebounds, and we got out, and we went, you know, and that was really key. That 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 easy offense makes a made a big difference. But it started with defending and rebounding, and then we got those outlets and really, really, really hurt him in transition. Okay. Just talk about. Uh, the way your team kind of responded. I mean, I think it's 31-29. They, they took that lead. Things started to get chippy. And from there, I mean, it seemed like they grew up a little bit right there. You know, I, I, one of the things I told them is, look, we need a close game. Like, I'm like, these guys are older. Not, you know, they played Texas Tech, Houston, at San Francisco. You know, they're not intimidated by any of us. And so they're going to be in this game. I think that surprised my kids when I said, no, this is going to come down. It's going to be fairly close. And I just think they've been able to kind of blow people out. Um, when it when it did get elevated, our guys did definitely respond, uh, and that was a bit of a, a bit of a turning point. Uh, you know, KD got a really hard foul, and um, I didn't like all the time it took 
We had a TV timeout. We looked at this. We looked at that. Uh, officials handled it. It was a flagrant one. But I thought I thought our guys definitely responded to the physicality and all the talk. Hi. Yeah, Coach, um, you talked about KD just now. Can you comment a little bit about like just his aggressiveness and his intensity just being something that you guys are able to corral a little bit but still use just to get momentum? I think you, you've said it perfectly in the sense that he was, you know, he was still intense, he was still aggressive, but he was under control. He did it with purpose. And 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 he's been really working, he's been working really hard to do that. You know, you know, to uh, letting us coach him. And he was really, you know, obviously really effective out there. Good to see good to see his shot go in. You know, want him to cut down on his turnovers. Bruce, what are you looking for your guys most next week in Cancun? What do you want to kind of find out about your guys the most? Um, well, you know, I, obviously we'll be away from the friendly confines, um, and how you know how we resp how we'll be able to respond. Um, you know what what what's the chemistry going to be like now? Because we're playing eleven guys, you know, twelve guys tonight with stretch, and so everybody's going to kind of what's my role? They're going to start getting calls from home. You know, we played 10, 12 minutes. You only got so many shots. You know, why aren't you playing more, doing more? And if we could just, you know, kind of not worry about that stuff and know that it's going to be a different kind every uh, every night, you know, these guys are, um, it appears to me like they've done the work off the court to come together. And so, therefore, from a chemistry standpoint, when we do face some adversity, um, and when they do get asked, well, why aren't you playing more? Because my teammates out there, right? Um, how nice was it to see Zep put a few in the bucket? Put a few in the basket. <coughs> it was great to see him, you know, play with confidence and didn't turn the ball over and, you know, be, be Zep. You know, this is a problem because sometimes we talk, we talk about, his, about his offense, but. We don't talk about his offensive play. Yeah, he made a few play. He made a few nice plays in the lane. He played really efficiently. Um, I don't know that I'll put him on the foul line again on that, on that technical foul when he went, that was wide left. <laughs> uh, Mark Lundin. The uh, Chris Moore looks like he's really taking advantage of his opportunity to play more. Uh, Chris is healthy. You know, he doesn't have, he got, he got that rod in his leg in the spring. He had that surgery. He was playing on a stress fracture last year. And he was beast, you know, um, and love his physicality. I love, I love Al and, and Chris out there, and I love their physicality. And Henry? I thought they were both patient. But, so here's a stat line at the three spot. You ready for this? So how's 19 points and 12 rebounds, um, six assists and three turnovers, four steals. One block. That's a very productive line from Alan Flanagan and Chris Moore. Coach, I know Bradley also plays tomorrow night. Um, we'll have to see that game. Just talk about those three teams. I mean, you got great coaches there. Um, Richie McKay, Doug, oh wait, Chris Mullins, and I forgot the Bradley coach's name. But just talk in general about those three teams and they match up against. You know, um, <coughs> you guys know I take them one at a time. I truly, truly, truly do. Um, and so, um, you know, I think, as Marlene indicated, what, I guess one of the features of this tournament would be the coaches. Some really, really good coaches. Um, and so, um, you know, I can't even begin to tell you what game plans are going to be um, because I haven't studied them yet. We, we did a little bit of summer work um, on them, um, but we've had four games in 12 days. So, and we got, you know, three more games now in the next, probably um, today's Friday, eight days, eight or nine days with St. Louis coming in Sunday. So I wish I could tell you more about the field, but I can't.